Well, hi guys, welcome to the NEC. We're here at Motorcycle Live in Birmingham and we thought the first place that we would stop right across the way from our stand here in, uh, I think we're in Hall 3, aren't we, this year? Yeah. Um, is Harley Davidson and this is their latest creation, the FX, I'm gonna get this right, FX DR. Yeah. And uh, we thought we'd just come and have a quick chat about this brand new bike and maybe Holly could tell us a little bit, a tiny little bit about it. It's a muscle bike. Um, it's your big engine, big torque, big ride. It's not my favorite model from Harley Davidson, but I can totally appreciate like, it's a it's an it's a it's an interesting creation in terms of the riding position for me. But I'm, I'm I mean I don't know with you. I think you're used to a feet yeah. forward bike. I obviously ride more kind of Japanese style bike. So, fit, you know, standard position riding. This is feet forward, hugely long chassis, long rake on the front suspension. But it, I mean, you were just saying it's it's very comfortable. Yeah. Did you not find it comfortable when you sat on I, it? I, <laughs> I just I guess I found it a little bit odd. You know, your very yeah. your arms are very stretched out, aren't they? But yeah. It's, it, you know, it is a yeah. particular style of bike that Harley are, are, yeah. you know producing massive volume. Yeah. Um, but it's an interesting looking machine, 1.8 litres. I think it, it makes a massive amount of torque, which is why we're kind of talking muscle bikes here. 160 Newton metres, I think it is. Okay. About 100 brake horsepower, 90 horsepower at the wheels. Um, but it's heavy. So we're talking nearly 300 kilos dry. And I think uh somewhere between 19 and twenty thousand pounds retail yeah it's about twenty thousand, and i think that is as is but as all harleys i don't think that you 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 end up spending the price that you see on the no no they, they on like the to stand. kick the bikes out don't they yeah yeah, yeah i mean yeah, obviously yeah. we've kind of yeah. noticed a few things with this um like the, i'm not sure it seems to be a bit of a trend with some of the harley products of the, uh, the sort of latest harley products so a lot of plastic cowling um yeah. Kind of this sort of long mud, sort of plastic mud guard on the back. And what, you, what you're able to do with this bike, and one of the things that Harley have obviously taken notice when they're talking to their customer base is, you know, obviously Harley riders like to kind of customize their products, mm -hmm. right? So, you, so all of that is basically removable as far yeah. as I know. The, and, the thing with that is if you're spending such a lot of money on a bike is then you're going to take half of it off. Yeah. And, and that is what I think needs to be done with it. I think as it comes out the showroom, I don't think it's an, an overly attractive looking bike. No, no, bike. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Um, it's, um, it's got a lot on it that doesn't need to be on it from my from my point of view. I do, however, um, absolutely love this air filter. You? I do. I, I'm a big fan of that. It really kind of modernises it. You know, my, uh, Harley Davidson isn't a brand that I necessarily kind of follow particularly closely. Right. No, I guess I'm more interested in the sort of Japanese and German motorcycles. Okay. Because, so you're quite a fan of this. Well, I just thing. think it, it's kind of, kind of more modern take on a Harley Davidson for me. I think that's the one thing about this bike that I quite like. It's it's a little bit more okay. of the time, if you like, more contemporary. Okay. Um, having said that, you know I do think there's quite a lot of plastic on it, and therefore, yeah. you know, it is. It, but it, it, it gives you a bit of a canvas that you can work with, I guess. Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that it could be. There'll be some customs of this next year yeah. when people have bought these and done stuff to them. They they will be amazing. I think that this is, it's got potential to be... It's a, it's a good base, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. But do you want a 20 grand base? The bottom line is, you know, if you look around this around this uh, uh, this stand, there are a lot of bikes that have a, a significantly higher yeah. retail yeah. price than no, this one, that's right? True. Some, that's some true. of the touring base bikes can do 25, 30,000 yeah, yeah, pounds. So yeah. in terms of Harley pricing, yeah. um, is it middle of the range? Yeah, it's, 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 it's probably about right. Yeah. The Sportsters, I think, are, are, are coming in from you know, um, like a 48 through to something like I ride, the irons and, and then... That's the sort of entry level... Yeah, yeah, I'd say you're looking at 12 or 15. Right. And then, yeah, so um, these were 20 and then up for your road glides, road kings, you can be yeah. 30, up to plus, 30, 30 Yeah, plus. I know, I, know uh, I saw so, somebody ride a trike away, it was 35 to 40,000 pounds, yeah. so, so you can spend a huge amount of money. Yeah. For them, it's about right. It's middle, middle of the road, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I think actually, if we was to go out and test ride these, I, I think that they would be um, a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that'd be quite yeah. interesting to kind of see the sort of feedback that Harley get with this bike yeah. on the stand this week. But I've got a couple of friends that have test ridden these and said they are awesome. Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe at some point in the future we get the chance to have a go on it. Uh, until then, do a follow up. We'll keep looking around. Yeah.